Let's continue with the previous example, but now compute the amount of money you will have after two years. Assume that the rate of return per year is still 10%. We can solve this problem in two steps. First, we will figure out how much money you will have at the end of the first year, and then we will compute the amount of money at the end of the second year. We know from the previous example that if you deposit $100 today at a rate of 10% and wait for a year, you will end up with $110. Recall that we obtained this result by using this formula. Now, we need to figure out how much money you will have if you deposit this $110 and wait one more year. But notice this is the same problem as before, as you are depositing money for one year. We apply the same formula and obtain that you will have $121 at the end of the second year. As you have probably realized, we can combine these two operations. At the end of the first year, we have 100 times 1 plus 10%, and we then multiply this amount again by 1 plus 10%. The final answer is then 100 times 1 plus 10% squared. We can generalize this formula to any number of periods. This is the general formula. In this formula, FV stands for the future value, PV stands for the present value, and is the amount you invest today, R is the rate of return per period, and t is the number of periods you invest your money for. Before leaving this section, I want to go back to the example. Note that the gain in the first year is 10, and the gain in the second year is $11. Why is this? The reason is that the second year we not only get a 10% return on the original $100 we deposited, but we also get a rate of return on the $10 we gain in the first period. 10% of this $10 gain is $1, exactly the difference between the gain in the first and second periods. Earning a return over gains you obtain in previous periods is referred to as compounding. 